It's there. Come on, Jack. All right, Spencer Lee, national champion. Back-to-back -back years. How does this one match up to last year's? Uh, it feels great. I, I went through a lot of adversity this year. Um, but uh, I really attribute all of my success to my coaches and my teammates who believed in me every step of the way, even when maybe I didn't believe in myself. You know, I remember losing to Oklahoma State and freaking I had the whole team grab me and tell me that they love me and that we're a family and we're going to be in this together. And I know that moment there is when I knew I could, you know, I got to move on and I got to be the better, better version of myself. And, you know, I think thanks to them, I, I mean, I wish I could have seen them after the match. Last year I got to hug them. But don't worry, that'll, that'll be the next step after this. Spencer, Cody from the Des Moines Register. Um, you mentioned adversity, and, and now we know all about the losses, but was there anything more than that? Uh, I mean, it's not really – it doesn't matter. I don't make excuses. I got beat. Every one of those losses, they beat me fair and square. It doesn't matter if you're hurt, injured, sick. doesn't matter. Who cares? This is a gladiator sport. Uh, we're tough guys. We go out and we put everything on the line. And uh, props to Jack Mueller. He put everything on the line. Uh, Kenneth Pilcher from the Siri Rapids Gazette. Spencer, what is it about this time of year or these big moments that you seem to be able to uh, dial up your best? Uh, I mean, Terry Brands always tells me big time wrestlers show up for big time moments. And, you know, he pre we preach that at the University of Iowa. And everyone on, the, on my team, they believe that they're a big time wrestler and they have to because that's the mindset you have to have to be in this sport. So we preach that big time wrestlers show up for big time matches. and. You know, I believe that too. I believe that we all show up the best we can, especially when you face a great opponent like Jack Mueller. He's a great opponent. Uh, Spencer, Gary out at USA Wrestling. Um, Beat the Streets is going to invite the NCAA champs to wrestle our number one freestyle guys, <laughs> Madison Square Garden. I mean, would you accept that opportunity? There's a guy. Uh, well, me, me and Gilman are good friends. And, uh, you know, that's not up to me and him to decide. We wrestle a lot in the room, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, Spencer, Steve with the Pittsburgh Post Gazette. Um, what does it mean, how does it feel the second time around after winning it last year as a freshman, now to be halfway to possibly a four-time champ, but to do it in your home fans uh, in Pittsburgh here? Uh, being in Pittsburgh was awesome. I don't really care about being a four-time national champ because I'm not a three-time national champ. <laughs> hey, hey bro, there's my brothers. There's my brothers. I told you they'd be here. Um, uh, right now I'm focused on uh, what's, uh, what's next, and that's going to be summer wrestling, and we'll see how that goes, and got to get healthy and everything, you know, whatever. You know how it is, big time, you know, big national tournament, everyone's a little tweaked up and we're getting ready to finish the summer off strong. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just focus on the next thing. I don't really care about four time national champ because you can't win four if you don't win three. And I haven't won three yet. Spencer, Jeff Upson from PA Power. Was there any question what intro music you were going to walk out to tonight? Yeah, I was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to be like, I don't know, cliche, doing it again. But you know, ultimately my, my teammate said, that's who you are. And uh, they're not wrong. I'm, I'm a big Pokemon nerd, and I love it. And I'm going to love it to the day I die. And it's pretty cool being able to run out to the Pokemon theme song. I think that's a player for allowing me to do that. Spencer, uh, Cody, again, you outscored your opponents 55 to 7, I think, this week. What, what were you kind of seeing this week, or what were you doing that was, you know, that was working for you? I mean, I, I just got to believe in myself. And you know, my teammates, they instilled a lot of power, I think, into me, you know, mental power. Because they, they tell me every day that I'm, I'm the best wrestler in the world. You know, you got to believe that. I truly believe that you have to believe that. And they tell me that. And sometimes I may not believe it while we're in those tough practices. But they, they keep me uplifted. And, you know, I think that was a difference uh, for this weekend. Just those guys, they just kept on me. They knew that this. Spencer, you can do this. You know you can do this. And, you know, I can wrestle for seven minutes and more if needed. And that, that's the, that was the goal. Hi, Spencer. Paul Scofield from the Tribune Review. Uh, there were a lot of doubters coming into this tournament. Uh, they said Spencer can't go seven minutes. Uh, well, how did you uh, shut them out? But what, what did you do to prepare for that? Oh, I mean, I don't really care if people don't believe in me because, I mean, I'm the one who's got to do it. You know, they can say it and, and say I can do it. I mean, there's people that believed in me too, you know, but just because they believed in me doesn't mean I'm going to win, you know, but it helps. You know, even even people that doubt me, I mean, I, I've been pretty much off social media and everything for a while. I mean, I used to tweet a lot about Pokemon and stuff, but, you know, I haven't, I haven't tweeted at my Pokemon buddies. I'll, I'll tweet at them tonight, probably. A lot of them tweeted at me today, tell me good luck, hoping to run the Pokemon theme song again. And, uh, you know, that was just pretty much it, you know. Last question. <laughs> 
You gotta love it, though, right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are allowed to ask a question. <laughs> we'll give him one. Last give one. Give me one? Last oh, one. You got it. you're the best. <laughs> Sam Stoll? Or, oh. Spencer Lee, why are you the baddest man on the planet? I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. Um, I'll take your word for it. How's that? I don't know. What's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, I always said Arcanine or Frostlass, but you guys don't know who that is. All right, Spencer. Thank <laughs> you. Congratulations, Spencer. Thank you guys very much.